What's going on everyone? Hopefully everyone's having a great time. So, my mixing containers. It's been a long time since, well, let me just say, I've never cleaned them out. I never touched them, never cleaned them out. And obviously you could see residue inside the barrels, you know, just outside looking at them. You can really see a lot of residue. Now I had some photos of that prior, but it got messed up. So I'm, I do have a clip of what it actually looks like in these barrels. But before we go look at these barrels and stuff, I just want to say that I've always used Instant Ocean and Reef Crystals. Okay? I've been using it for a very long time 23 years. Okay? I know it leaves residue and things, okay? And that is the main reason why people do, you know, nowadays kind of shy away from Instant Ocean or Reef Crystals because of the residue. There's a lot of people that still continue to use it to this day. I would still be one of those people. But unfortunately, being on YouTube and stuff like that, you know, a lot of people look at me as just an old school reefer, you know. And not saying that I don't know anything or anything like that, not in that way, just that I'm an old school reefer and a lot of new people that are coming into the hobby are utilizing a lot of newer technology and newer things. So, with that being said, I made some changes, obviously. Before I take you in there and show you what the barrel looks like, or put the clip in here, should I say, I've made changes with this new build. As you guys can see here, this is the beast. A beast of an aquarium. It's eight feet long, four feet wide. I'm utilizing radions on this build. But one thing I did do really different was use dry rock. So we're not going to get into that right now, but I use dry rock and I normally always use 100% live rock. Now the reasons why I changed salt is the same reasons why I went with dry rock. Okay? For the simple fact is, people ask a lot of questions. People want answers. People are tired of spending money. People are tired of guessing. People are just want to do things right the first time and you know they just want to be successful I can't blame them okay I can always talk about things that I know things that I've done over the course of 23 years okay this time I made some changes dry rock is one but also with the salt I am utilizing uh, Fritz salt now as we speak a lot of people said before when they realized that I was switching over or I asked what should I do a lot of people say hey Rico if it's not broke don't fix it but I don't think people really realize about the other people that are utilizing things and what my channel is truly about is helping people and the only way for me to help people and to understand what they're going through or experiencing is by me using these products okay so, you know, one of the reasons people shy away from Instant Ocean or Reef Crystals is because of the impurities, they say, the nastiness and stuff like that, which I'm about to show you here in a minute. Can I blame them? No, I cannot blame them. At the same time, though, you know, I'm not here to bash them. They've been around a long time, okay? Nowadays, people want good products. They want the best. They're just t tired of dealing with, you know, a lot of BS from companies. They're tired of dealing with, you know, warranty issues from lower end products, stuff like that. They just really want the best. Can you blame them? No, I can't. Do I know Instant Ocean or Reef Crystals work? Of course it does. You, I, there's too many of those old heads out here that has beautiful tanks with that product. So it's not for me to sit here and bash them, and I'm not going to bash them. 
But I think it's time for me to make some changes to keep up with the, the new times of things. So when people have questions or concerns about something that they're experienced, hey, let me see if I'm experienced or have I experienced those things and what did I do to fix it or combat those things? That's the only reason why I've made these changes. Am I uncomfortable with some of these changes? No, not really. And the only reason I'm saying that is because I have a lot of years of experience to understand chemistry, understand how water, keeping water, keeping things in balance and stuff like that. Now, don't get me wrong. All companies have their hiccups when it comes to, especially salt manufacturers. They've all had things where their employees forgot to you know, clean their bins out um, during batch making and stuff like that. It has happened. Does that mean that they're a bad company? Oh, because people ended up with a bad shipment of salt. No. It, listen, things happen. It even happens when everything is good in your aquarium that you don't understand. It's just one of those things that happen. So now that um, you're kind of understanding why I've made some of these changes, uh, let's get into this video. Let me just show you real quick of what it has done to my drum. Let's go. All right, so my mixing containers sit here back underneath these stairs. So here's the mixing container. Sorry for the noise in here. Let me bring this down to show you how nasty. This is the water that's in there. Here, let me get closer. Look at that. Try to shake it around. Looky how dookie nasty that is. So, this is what Instant Ocean Reef Crystals does for a lot of people. This is the reason why people honestly are not a big fan of. And excuse the um, camera. Let me let me zoom out again. Um, but yeah, this is this is a, a buildup that um, and the reasons why people. People don't like them, you know, and I, I, I can't blame them, you know, and I can't defend Instant Ocean either. So, it is what it is. Well, now that you've seen that, obviously, can you blame anybody? I don't. No, that has been like that, and I've been pumping that like that in my old system. I even utilize that stuff in this new system, stuff like that. Is it that much of a concern to me? No, it's not. But can I blame anybody for not wanting to put that, what does that, into their system? No, and you shouldn't either. At the end of the day, it is what it is. Um, you know, moving over to Fritz Salt, they use, you know, a lot of the best ingredient to, to make their salt. They use the best of the best for their salt. Now, there's all several other different companies out here that have their own thing and method when it comes to salt. I get it. Um, for me, it was easy decision for me to switch to Fritz because the community that follows me, the majority of people use Fritz salt. Um, so that's why it was an easy transition for me to just go over to Fritz. Let alone, uh, I like those guys over there. Uh, they do an awesome job. I love hanging out with them at the shows. But it's more for the followers. It's the followers that are utilizing it for me that made me really switch. They have never tried to force me or convince me into their salt was better than what I was using. Not one time did we have a conversation like that. They never tried to persuade me or said anything or mentioned it. If anything, some of the salt things come up in, in, in just general conversation. And I'm, I, I'll say my thing, hey, man, I love, you know, it is what it is. I mean, the first thing comes out to me, Rico, we're not trying to persuade you or, hey, we understand that you, you know, you do your thing. And, you know, that was them. And I respected that as well. 
So with that and the community and how many people actually using French salt, it was quite easy for me to make that decision and also have the opportunity when it comes to utilizing the salt when salt topics come out on the live stream or whatever the case may be. It's easy to have a conversation. It's easy to relate to those that may be having an issue. Uh, hopefully nobody has an issue though. So I don't want to drag this video out too long. Everybody in the aquarium is doing great. I love to try to end my videos with showing you guys even make them in front of the tank. This tank is so beautiful. Uh, just show you that everybody's doing well. Oh, before I go, let's go take a uh, look at the Achilles real quick. Let me show you how he's doing. We put him in on the 25th. Today's the 6th. Um, and we'll show you. I'm also thinking, how long do you guys think I should leave him over there? And when should I go ahead and pop him in this aquarium? I'm kind of thinking... Um, I don't know. Um, another week over here, then put him in an acclimation box over here just to monitor him some more, see what he's doing, stuff like that. What do you guys think? So let's go check him out while you guys ponder on that. All right, everyone, you see the Achilles tang there. You see he's doing great. My only thing and concern is, what do you guys think? How much longer should I keep him over here? Like I said, I put, got him on the 25th of last month. Today is the 6th. How much longer you guys think I should keep him here? Also, do you think I should just go ahead and put him in an acclimation box inside the aquarium so I can watch? Um, I know eventually when he does come out of the box or he might get stressed being in the box, I'm able to remove him from the box, put him back over here. There's all kinds of things that can happen. I don't know the outcome of him, if he's going to, you know, do well or not do so well. But that's beside the point. What do you guys think I should do with him? Um, how much longer should I keep him over here? What are your guys' thoughts? I'm really asking you guys for a little input on this one. Um, I'm having an itch just to throw him in there and let it be. Um, but at the same time, I want to try to have, you know, good success. Now he's eating well. Let me see if I can feed him. See if he comes out the pellets. Yes, he is. He is eating, grabbing everything. That's awesome. As you guys can see, he doesn't hesitate for food. He's doing his thing. Uh, it doesn't show any signs of anything, but once again, that doesn't mean he doesn't have something. Um, so, I'm not going to drag it out much longer. Um, at the end of the day, let me know in the comment section. And with that being said, this is Rico, Rico's Aquariums. Till next time, peace.